Hey, if you like grilled cheese and you like brisket, this is the video for you. Today we're going to do a brisket grilled cheese sandwich. Stick around. Hey, thanks for sticking around. If you're new here, I'm Justin Lloyd with Cask and Q, where whiskey and barbecue meet, and I'd love to earn your subscription. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. All right, let's get started. So what do you need for this brisket grilled cheese sandwich? Texas toast, leftover brisket, butter, butter knife, chef's knife, American cheese, provolone, pepper jack cheese, and whatever other cheese you can think of. And for a little kick, some diced jalapenos. Let's get some butter on there real quick. Some people use mayo, that's fine, you can do that too. But for me, butter is the way to go. And you'll definitely want to use Texas toast here. It's going to be more durable than just thin white bread. Let's get our brisket. This is from a cook I did a week or two ago. Fro vacuum sealed it and froze it. That's looking pretty meaty and pretty good. Slice of fatty. Slice of lean, another slice of lean, some little pieces. We'll chop that up, and I think that's gonna do it. Okay, we wanna keep the lean and the fatty and slices like so. And take this little this little guy here, just chop it up. And that's already good to go. We'll sprinkle that on the top. All right, let's go to the griddle. Today we're gonna be cooking on the blaze griddle. I have this side about medium high and the opposite side is gonna be turned off. It's gonna have some radiant heat that's gonna carry over to keep our brisket warm while we make the grilled cheese. All right, let's get our Texas toast going. Woo, love it. It's a great sound. Let's get our brisket on there. And of course, American cheese. All right, we'll move this brisket off to the side. Keep it warm. All right, now for our pepper jack. Oh yeah, provolone. You can use whatever you want. You can get crazy with this, man. You can do all kinds of different cheeses. Just do what you like. If you like cheddar, do cheddar. If you like American, do American. I like provolone, so I'm gonna do a couple slices on each side. This is a hefty sandwich. Let's cover that up to melt the cheese faster. And here's a little trick. Add some water and get some steam. And cover up your sandwich. Let's see how we're doing. Ooh, melty, melty goodness. Let's go ahead and add that brisket on there. Yep, I think we do. Those little brisket chunks are gonna be delicious too. Don't leave those guys out. They wanna party. Oh, nice and toasty. Let's go back to the board. All right, folks, as you can see, there's nothing to it. Let's dig in. We forgot our jalapeno friends. Oh, is this gonna come? Did we mess up totally? Oh no, we didn't, look at that. We're not messing up. We are not messing up. Oh, we have an escapee. What are we working with here? Ooh, hoo, 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 hoo. I think that's gonna be good. All right, here we go. Mm-hmm. <laughs> The cheese all blends together so well. It's ooey gooey, it's got the crunch on the outside. Be sure it's good and toasted. If you don't do your grilled cheese heavily toasted, then you're missing out. The brisket, the smokiness, the rich flavor of that brisket really shines through. It all melts together in a perfect little sandwich. And this would do great as a fast dinner if you have some leftover brisket. Just throw that brisket grilled cheese sandwich together for your friends and family, they're gonna love you for it. Hey, before you leave, go ahead and like, subscribe, and smash that bell. It's gonna help us out a lot, and it's gonna let you know when I upload new content. Hey, thanks for sticking around. We'll see you next time.